what we have here is several objects that you can control wirelessly. And here is the Rushi remote controller, which is my smartphone. We launch the Rushi application and on the screen it is able to identify the objects and track the objects and in order to interact with the objects simply click on the object and the corresponding controls come up for that object. In this case the car has a joystick that lets you drive it around. We and this is a radio. You select the radio and you are able to change the channel and control its volume. Over here we have a TV. When you see it, it has a TV icon. You click on the TV icon and you can change the channel for the TV and also the volume. Another example is the temperature sensor. And the temperature sensor over there is reporting it is 20 degrees right now. And here we have a light that we can turn on. And the light is a little finicky because it's we are using infrared technology to locate these objects. So when when the light goes on, it sort of freaks out and it's hard to get back the control. But anyways, that's what it does. And the way it does it is that every one of these nodes has an uh, infrared emitting LED that is emitting its identifier. And on the back of my phone, I have an infrared camera that's taken out of a Wiimote and an infrared sensor. And that's how it knows what the object is and where it is. And thus, it is able to overlay the correct icon and give it the correct control and track it on the screen. All the commands are actually sent through a 2.4 gigahertz radio transceiver that's built into every node. And this is our poster that shows the block diagrams of the components and how the data is processed. That's one of the node PCBs. Uh, it's two parts. One part has all the power supply, battery charging, infrared, radio, and the other part is just a application board that's like a perf board. You put your application on there, such as a relay for a light switch or a radio, and then you stack them on top of each other.